Ace has come back with their new album, Hojop Jimung slash Butterfly Fantasies and Dokebi slash Favorite Boys as their title track. In this video, I'll be explaining more about what Hojop Jimung and Dokebi is, alongside with what the members each stand for in the music video. The most interesting and shocking part of this explanation is in the last part of the video, so make sure you watch it till the end. Welcome to the jungle. The title track Tokebi slash Favorite Boys revolves around the concept of Tokebi, usually translated into Goblin in the West. However, Goblin is a somewhat inaccurate translation in my opinion. A Tokebi is a traditional Korean mystical figure that can be possessed to a tree or an object or a broomstick or can be summoned, but it doesn't always have to have a horn or a monster-like appearance or aspect to it. What's special about the Korean Tokebi is that it can be sometimes playful, friendly to humans, uh, they like to drink, party, and make noise. But at the same time, they can be those mystical, magical, and scary creatures. As I mentioned before, and as you can see in the music video, the Tokebi isn't always like this horned, monstrous creature. That's actually the stereotype and influence of the concept of the Japanese Oni, which is like a demon, when it crossed over during the Japanese colonial rule. The traditional Korean Tokebi covers a wide range of mystical figures that can be in the form of anything. Many historical records and stories claim that Tokebi sometimes are like humans, or don't have an appearance at all, like a ghost or like a giant, or like a floating fire, or are like dreamy gods. So the various forms of Tokebi that appear in the Ace music video would be an accurate representation of the traditional Korean Tokebi. The background of Pyongwan's part shows a very traditional pattern of the Tokebi found in various historical artifacts that go back to the Three States period, which started from 18 BC to 668 AD. These patterns of Tokebi were carved on many kiwa that are basically rooftop tiles with the purpose of warding off evil spirits and ghosts. So in this context, we can also conclude that Tokebis were actually an ally to human beings. <laughs> In addition to that, we can also spot a lot of other Korean patterns in art in this music video. For example, we can spot Tancheong, or we can spot Minhwa, which were drawn by the commoners, and could be also seen as Changsengdo, which stands for longevity. <laughs> In the chorus part, we can see another reference from the Tokebi. Probably the most famous legend about the Tokebi would be the tale called Tokebi Pangmangi slash Tokebi's Bat. There are many legends about Tokebis using magical tools such as bats, invisibility hats, flying coats, and more. But the most famous tale of the Tokebi Bat goes on like this. Once upon a time, a lumberjack randomly gets lost in the woods at night and finds an old abandoned house and goes in to spend the night. Then out of nowhere, a party and ratchet starts and Tokebis appear with their bats. When the Tokebis chant Kumnawara Tuktak, Unnawara Tuktak, meaning come out gold, come out silver, gold and silver instantly pop out of their bats. The hiding lumberjack sees this and is astonished. As the party goes on, the lumberjack gets a little hungry and bites on a hazelnut. Hearing that sound, the Tokebis suddenly get scared that the house might fall down and flee, leaving one of their bats. The lumberjack then acquires the Tokebi bat and uses it to get rich. Then the greedy brother of this lumberjack gets jealous hearing this story and tries to do the same, but unfortunately gets discovered by the Tokebis and get punished. Anyways, you can see the famous chant from the legend, Kumnawara Tuktak, Unnawara Tuktak, is referenced in Ace's lyrics as well. Tuktak in Korean is the sound of hitting a bat, or in this case a magical bat, or it could be something like, right now, immediately. So you can see in the choreo that Ace is rolling a dice in their hands and commanding it to grant them their wishes immediately. Also, one part of the choreo resembles them hitting the ground like a bat, just like the Tokebis. <laughs> Yeah. 
While Ace is basically saying in their lyrics that their magical tokebis being the reason why they are always able to win your hearts as your favorite boys, they are also presenting themselves literally as magical beings, being true to the concept. The lyric, come on and fight with me, is also a reference from legends that tokebis used to appear and randomly challenge humans in a battle of shirim. Shirim is a traditional Korean sports where you wrestle and try to knock down the opponent to the ground. That's why Ace explains that this part of their choreo is referenced from Shirim. Also, in the lyrics, they mention themselves as a key to opening new dimensions, strengthening the concept of the magical tokebi. Speaking of new dimensions and magical powers, you can now observe that the stylistic choices of their outfits were affected by the concept of tokebi as well. <laughs> I believe that the stylistic choices of mixing modern and traditional outfits is not just out of a fashion perspective. It's because Ace in this music video are tokebis that have magical powers to go through time, dimension, and space. Now you might be thinking, oh, he's stretching a little bit now, but before you judge me, there's actual proof to back up my reason. It's because each of the characters that Ace is representing in this music video is a mystical figure that can transcend or isn't affected by time and space. Ace actually explains themselves that the main theme of this album or a music video is about ontology or existentialism. The album's name Hojopjimong actually comes from the ancient Chinese philosopher Changja or Changzi. It's called the Butterfly Dream in English and goes on with a short poem or story like this. One time Zhuangzi dreamed he was a butterfly, a butterfly flitting and fluttering around, happy with himself, doing as he pleased. The butterfly didn't know he was Zhuangzi. Suddenly Zhuangzi woke up and there he was, solid and unmistakable Zhuangzi. But he didn't know if he were Zhuangzi who had dreamed he was a butterfly, or a butterfly dreaming he was Zhuangzi. Between Zhuangzi and a butterfly, there must be some distinction. This is called the transformation of things. So the distinction between dreaming and waking is no different from the differentiation between life and death. These concepts about dreaming, reality, life and death are all actually temporary and relative in Zhuangzi's point of view. In short, Zhuangzi is trying to say everything in this world has no distinction. Well, there is definitely a distinction in reality, physically and tangibly, but underneath the perspective of nature and the universe, they are all relative, minuscule things that are the same. Thus, we can be a human being like myself, but a butterfly in a dream at the same time. At the end, we're all just part of the universe, and I know this is pretty hard, but it's actually pretty commonly used in many Western movies or theories as well, in a similar way, such as The Matrix or Inception or The Theory of the Cosmos from Carl Sagan or Elon Musk arguing that we're all in a virtual reality. These could all be seen as extensions from this philosophy as well. Anyways, waking up from that dream, going back to Ace's music video, the characters that appear in the music video all represent different fictional, imaginary, or mystical characters. The most obvious character is Tonghun, who is Yamnadewang, the eastern version of Hades or Lucifer, who is the caretaker and master of hell. Uh, Yamna Dewan controls death and the afterworld. You can see him sending butterflies and all, which would be all the human souls. Fun fact, Tongun actually got offended that he was called a mere death god in a live stream. He hinted that he was someone above death gods. So next up is Wow, and Wow's character can't be specified into a particular fictional character. Maybe it's just me not being able to find the reference. But according to their explanation, Ace actually says that he's a trendy, futuristic tokebi. Uh, which means to me that he's a time traveler. He probably bought all the Nike and rock style fashion outfits to his friends that are used in the music video. And next, Chan and Jun are twins, but not just normal twins, they're equal twins from parallel universes. Just to let you know, I'm not making this up in my head, these are actual comments that Chan and Jun confirmed during their behind the scenes. So yeah, to continue, Chan and Jun's characters are tied by the Eastern myth Chongshir Hongshir, Red String, Blue String. Uh, it's a myth where a mystical tokebi, or a magical being called Duarha Noin, old man under the moon, ties up a male with a red string with a girl, and they are bonded eternally with fate to get married in the future. So in these old myths, however much the person tied with the red string tries to cut it or refuse his fate, at the end he gets connected with his engaged half in the future. 
So until this day in traditional Korean or Asian weddings, we use this red string and blue string to wish a happy marriage until the couple dies. So anyways, in short, Chan and Jun are tied under fate, even being from parallel universes. Plus, they also resemble the most common form of tokebis, drawn in red and blue. Now, as Ace mentioned several times in their live streams themselves, the most important figure of this album and music video is definitely Pyeongwon. He is the key to all of this, he's the one that rolls the dice. And after a lot of research, my conclusion in theory is that Pyeongwon is Warhanoi, the old man under the moon who is able to control fate and destiny. In this part of the music video, Pyeongwon blatantly wears red strings around him and has as a butterfly on his face. And after more research and digging, I found out that this concept is actually repeated from the famous Korean drama, Goblin. In the drama Goblin, the character Yudokwa is revealed to be Warhanoin at the end, who calls himself a butterfly and actually transforms into one. And this character gives help to the main characters Jin Tak and Kim Shin to go against fate and meet a happy ending. Pyeongwon explains in many interviews that rolling the dice has a symbolic meaning. He explains, usually dices are controlled by luck. Luck can also be seen as fate. But he goes on saying, you can roll the dice as many times you want, which means you can make and choose your own destiny. This also connects to the butterfly fantasy philosophy. You can choose versions of yourselves as many times you want and choose your own fate. As they say in the lyrics, they have the power to reset or overturn the whole game. So Pyeongwon being the Waranoi, the old man under the moon, or a butterfly, is a controller of fate and destiny. Maybe you could extend it to the string theory, which is related to multiple universes and stuff. Red string, blue string, you get it, right? And also all the other members are transcendent beings as well, regarding parallel universes, afterlife, death, and time traveling, which is all enabled through Pyeongwon, who can roll the dice multiple times and control fate. So Ace explains about their song Tokebi or Favorite Boys that it has the message of being reborn as an ideal figure for the public, under the situation of not being able to fully express their true emotions in reality, in front of the public. So my personal take of the song Tokebi is that it has both the elements of confidence and desire of Ace being magical figures like Tokebis, on one side winning everyone's hearts and being those ideal figures to the public, but also on one side there's a paradox being a Tokebi, being imaginary and fictional. So you can't really accomplish the ideal status you want in one dice roll. Nevertheless, using the butterfly fantasy or the dice roll concept, they show the belief that they can somehow manipulate and choose their fate to ultimately become the ideal beings in the future. Wow.